Greetings tankers, my name is Adam Snellgrove and welcome to Best Replays, the latest and greatest installment of the series which you know and love. And in order to never miss an episode, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, and let's get straight into it. We are opening up today's replay showcase with a legendary steel wall tank, the KV-4. Driven by someone who obviously just smashed A, S and D keys in order to come up with their nickname. Taking the full 107 tons this tank weighs on the muddy ground of Lakeville. Finally, could have almost gone for coffee break by the time our hero reached the front lines. Positioning the mighty fortress on the top of the hill in full view of the enemy tanks. Whoa! I can't say I agree with this approach, but every single enemy shell so far seems to be bouncing off. Finally, a first bit of actual damage. And if you ever needed proof why choosing this flank in a bottom tier tank is a mistake, this friendly SDRV just demonstrated that it's more useful as a wreck than alive. As the enemies slowly dwindle while being sieged by a fortress nonetheless. Where do you think you're going? Thank you, little STRV buddy. Your valiant sacrifice shall not go in vain. Ooh, hoo, hoo. maybe we have written off this AMX a bit too soon. So it's only for the best that it earns a swift ticket to the garage. Finally, there's the annoying arty that has been peppering our hero with shells the entire game. Really? That ram wasn't enough? Oh well, take the shell with you instead. All right, enemy base secure. Oh, whoa! Ho -ho. And the RNG Jesus says, denied. Oh, come on, another one of these annoying TDs. That is three shells in a row. This stood at a meal bounced clean off of our hero. That's right, run away. Ah, here we go again. Oh, hoo -hoo. good timing by the Barask. However, with both enemies spamming our hero with shells beyond spotting distance, it's only a matter of time when one will find its way through the armor. Come on, show yourself! Finally, that annoying little scorpion finds its way back to the garage. And the VK is taken out by the Allies, which means I can declare a GG. An awesome steel wall by ADSAD in the KV-4 here on Lakeville. While 6,146 damage, 9 kills and 1,970 experience is all well and good, the number that we're looking for is 10,260 damage blocked. Now that is just out of this world, even more so when we look at the hit counter with an astonishing 60 shells received. Just wow, a great steel wall replay worthy of 2000 gold and a best replay style. Well done!
Our next replay comes from Legio15, who's taking the UDES 14.5 for spin here on Overlord. Just a standard tier 8 tech tree tank, preferring hull down situations and long range ambushes over strolling on the beach. As proven by Exhibit A. One down and 14 more to go. <laughs> All right, that's not a bad start to the game. Wow, Legio 15 is really not letting up the pressure. Racking up two more kills, which means we're just one shy of a top gun already. Who am I kidding? Of course Legio 15 wouldn't settle for just 5 kills when a 6-1 is on offer just like that! And an Amarak on an arty! Can it get any sweeter than that? Well it can indeed, as all of a sudden we're upgraded from a Top Gun to a Radley Walters. And there's no shortage of enemies either. This ISU, however, has no intentions of going down without a fight. But nevertheless, down it goes. Luckily, this Hellcat proves to be much less of a challenge, extending the killing spree to 11. When it rains, it pours. As these enemies just keep on showing up one by one. That is, until the cap siren reminds us of another potential frag. Frag? Really? Like one of those shooty shooty games with silly dances? In any case, it makes for a convenient 13th kill as the fake panther never even spots our hero. Meaning all that's left is one SU-152 between Legio 15 and the glorious Rossini Heroes Medal. The tactic is simple take the commanding position on the map and frag the enemy that never even stood a chance. GG! What is there to say after a game like that? A once-in-a-lifetime performance by Legio 15 securing the Rossini heroes which eluded us just a few episodes ago. All while doing 5,714 damage and claiming 1,892 base experience. If there's perfection in World of Tanks, this was almost it. And we award this replay with 2,500 gold and our style. Congratulations! And to round it all off with the best replay this week, we've got the mighty IS-7 in the hands of Dr. Avarian. Noping out of what appears to be a pretty disastrous engagement for the green team. Yep, who would have thought that charging in against an STB-1 and a batch chat would result in anything but a quick back-to-garage click? So just two minutes into the game and the green team is already three tanks down while Dr. Avarian is forced to relocate across the entire map. only to find the Allied team already in shambles. And a Yak Panzer E100 whose armor is proving too tough even for these APCR shells. All in all, someone here will have to step up their game pronto. That's the start of something. Hey, 
away. Two kills in quick succession, almost even out the scoreline. Almost. thought it was this AMX 65T with all the capture points and not the unfortunate little truck. But despite our doctor's best efforts, the green team eventually succumbs to a severe case of lack of skeletus. Meaning Dr. Avaria now operates all alone against five enemy tanks. And with just five APCR shells remaining, it's time to put these remaining few HE to good use. Ooh! Ooh, that is unfortunate. The HE leaves the Super Conqueror on just 15 HP. Oh, come on. Now they are multiplying too. Incredible! Dr. Varian has not taken a single damaging shot in this engagement so far. Enabling our hero to just charge after the final enemy and finish it off with the last remaining shell in the magazine. GG! What an incredible final stand by Dr. Varian. A clinical finish to win the game which seemed to be destined as a loss from the very beginning. And scoring Radley Walters, Kolobanovs, plus the Fadin's medal alongside 8,026 damage, 9 kills and 1,655 base experience. A wonderful game for which we award you Dr. Avarian with 3,000 gold, best replay style and the title of best replay. Congratulations! And that replay brings another episode of Best Replays to a close, dear tankers. Got to say that it was really hard to pick between these final two replays as both were amazing in their own right and surely worthy of the title of Best Replay. But only one could prevail and that honour went to Dr. Avarian, courtesy of the nail-biting ending which kept me at the edge of the seat. But what did you make of it? And would you agree with our choice? Drop us a comment below and let us know. And as always, keep those replays coming, as it might just be you on the show in the next episode. Anyway, I'm Adam Snellgrove, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!